Well, in one corner, you had the team that beat the five-time defending state champs, and in the other, you had the premier program in all of Wisconsin for over a decade. Tonight, we'll find out whether or not Kimberly or Fond du Lac is the true heavyweight champ in Northeast Wisconsin. And of course, that's our extra point game of the week. Cardinals, well, they broke the papermaker's win streak last year, but Kimberly got revenge in the playoffs. Let's go right to the fourth quarter. Kyle Wall Jasper fakes the give and keeps it himself. And look at this. He is gone. 86 yards to the house. That would give Fondy a 28-21 lead. Then, with less than three minutes left in regulation, Caleb Frazier gets the rock and he breaks loose for a 68 yard scamper. Oh, that would tie the game up. We're headed to overtime at 28. Of course we are, right? Extra period, Cardinals get it first. They're forced to settle for a field goal. Just Sherbel connects and then the papermakers turn fourth and five, they go for it. Caden Pendleton to Will Hammond. Kimberly converting the first down. Next play, Frazier bouncing. Outside, that is your game winner. Kimberly beats Fond du Lac in OT for the second straight time. Your final score, 34-31. Kakana, they started the season 2-0. Tonight, hosting Menominee, who beat Marinette last week. Ghosts leading 17-6 early in the fourth. Menominee in business, though. Brendan Harris, look at this. He plows his way into the end zone. Five-yard score, tack on a two-point conversion. All of a sudden, we get a three-point ball game. Ensuing drive, Kakana would counter. Watch this run by Hank Hoffman. Hank, the little tank, second effort and more. Gets him across the goal line. Seven yard TD makes it 24-14 ghost. They win it 31-17. How about Appleton East heading over to Wausau West. Patriots take over in the second half by pounding the rock. Nick Bovat plows his way in from a yard out. Patriots in front, 17-14. More Bovat this time bouncing off defenders and in. 10 point ball game for East and they would win it 24. 17 is your final. DC Everest, well, they had their first win last week, trying to keep it rolling against a tough Appleton North squad. Not a lot of offense early on. The Lightning defense, big play. Braden Goymeric jumping the route and pick it off. Ethan Ostrowski pick six. Appleton North was up by 13. DC Everest would answer with a big play. Ostrowski, he'll drop the diamond to Brian Halambach to make it a six point game, but the Lightning pull away in this one. 23 7 is your final. Heading to the FRCC, unbeaten Bayport taking on Notre Dame. Look at this spread that they have for the media. Best food, by the way, go Tritons, at least in that category. How's this for a play with the ball getting tipped around twice? The Pirates' Cal Verlanek diving interception that would set up Mitch Merholsky jet sweep toss, and he's got blockers in for the score to make it 7-0 Pirates. How about this? Defense again. Bam! The Big play, Notre Dame pinned in their own territory, and that's a safety, and that would set up Merhalski again, this time around the right side and much longer, 50 yards to be exact. Weaving through traffic and breaking tackles, bye-bye. Bayport train rolls on, 51 to seven. Also in the FRCC, Preble heading over to Eschwaben on both, looking for a win. Third quarter, Jags up by four, and it's Katie and Vang hooking up with Sam Nguyen, but oh, he gets popped, loses the ball. Alex Champagne pounces on it for the Hornets. Later in the, in the quarter, Preble trying to air it out. Caden Appleton's got a beat on it, though. And that's an INT for a Schwabenon late in the quarter. Vang, look at this. Nice pump fake. Whoop. And then he'll connect with Kyle Kruger for the touchdown. Jaguars remain perfect with a 24-13 win. Big one in the FRC, Sheboygan South, who beat Notre Dame last week. And 0-2 to Pierre, needing a win. Redbirds up by 10 at half. But Sheboygan South answers. Eric gonzalez Serna. Faking the handoff, quick toss to Isaac Holder, breaks a tackle and in for the score. 10-7 ball game, and they answer in a big way. The Redbirds do. Christian Bosick to Ethan Ho-Ho. Look at the big man. He's gone. No, he's not, but that's 48 yards. A couple of plays later, Bosick to Maddox Shinners. Nice effort to get to the goal line for the score. Next drive, same two, hook up. Bosick this time. How about a deeper bomb down the sideline to Shinners? And then that would lead to Bosick. Little throwback to Adam Timbrook. DePierre gets their first win, 31-6. Heading to the Bay Conference, both Menasha and Xavier undefeated, and the Hawks would strike first in this one. Ray Zuliger calls his own number, finds a hole, and all right, 52 yards later, he's the fastest guy up the middle. 7-0 Hawks. Menasha would tie it at 7 and take the lead. Tyler Real, or Roll, not sure, powers his way in for a two-yard score, 14-0 Blue Jays. Second quarter, Xavier on the move. Zuliger this time will 
instead of run, fire the ball downfield, and uh-oh, he gets picked off by Brady Batchelor. Yes, Batchelor. Menasha wins big, 49-21. All right, how about a non-conference battle? Unbeaten Seymour and Freedom. Here we go, first quarter. Irish quarterback Reeve Lambeck rolling right, keeps it, and he'll take a hit right at the goal line, but ooh, breaks the plane, 7-0. Irish, second quarter, Lambeck. This time dropping back and he'll throw it. Connecting with Connor Dickrow, 35 yards in stride. 14-7 zip. Freedom. And the Irish defense bringing it as well. Anthony Baumgartner, how about this? Pow! Irish pitch a shutout tonight, 21 zip. Also in the Northeastern, both Wrightstown and Fox Valley Lutheran, 2-0 to start the season. Third quarter, Tigers Quincy Clister takes the handoff 15 yards later. He's taken down right at the goal line. Two plays later, Clister would punch it in for the score. Wrightstown would lead it 26 to 17. Right before the end of the third, though, the Foxes, Isaiah Ullman. Yep, here he is. They earn it out to Sam Steigenberger. 30 yard score, FBL down by two. And here's your final in this one. Wrightstown wins it late. 30, 26 24 is your final in that one. Huge night in the Eastern Wisconsin. Ron Colley and Brilliant both unbeaten, trying to get to 3 0. Second quarter, the Jets threatening Brady Norrell. Rolling, right, and Carter Stabani. Thank you very much. And then how about this? Stabani capitalizing on the takeaway on the offensive side. He's a two way player. Breaks a couple of tackles, fakes out our cameraman, and gone. 44 yards in all. Brilliant's up by a score. Then, with a minute left in the first half, Stabani. Nobody's going to catch him on this run. 34 yards when all is said and done. Brilliant shuts out Ron Colley. 34 to nothing. Bull Chilton and New Holstein, each 2 0. Tigers wasting little time getting on the board tonight. Caden Pop makes a couple of moves. Green grass, little stiff arm, and that's the opening kickoff return. Tigers let it 7 zip. Defensive battle after that. Tyler Meyer tries to get something going, but Dane Jacobson off the rollout. Oh, he's going to want that one back. INT takes a hit. Huskies threatening later. Ryan Brokel comes up big with an INT of his own, and Chilton wins a defensive slugfest, 15-14. to 14. Finally, Sheboygan falls at Keel. Raiders already up, seven in the third, looking for more. Mitchell Mahler can't find anybody, so... Let's run. He does and makes one cut. Two takes a pounding right at the goal line, but he's in 11 yards for the touchdown. A little bit later, Connor Volkel at QB for Keel. He also can run and break tackles. 10 yard TD. Raiders up in front by 21. Ben Dealing tries to bring down Sheboygan Falls, tries to bring Sheboygan Falls back, but uh, he can't find anybody and then he'll just have to go take it in himself. Your final score in this one. 49-21, Keele, a big winner. Brewers, by the way, they won tonight 7-1, and that's a look at your Friday night sports.